Secretary. Mr. President, Excellencies, I thank the United States for convening the meeting on artificial intelligence and the maintenance of international peace and security. I briefed this Council about AI in July 2023. As I said then, those that feel like technology is moving very fast must understand the simple fact. Technology will never move in the future as slowly as today. In the short time, artificial intelligence has moved at breakneck speed. Fueled by record investments, today's AI models keep getting more powerful, more versatile, and more accessible, combining not only language, image, sound, video, but also automating decisions. Artificial intelligence is not just reshaping our world, it is revolutionizing it. Tasks that required years of human expertise are now completed in a heartbeat. But the risks are equally huge. This rapid growth is outpacing our ability to govern it, raising fundamental questions about accountability, equality, safety, and security, and about humanity's role in the decision-making process. Artificial intelligence without human oversight would leave the world blind and perhaps nowhere more perilously and recklessly than in global peace and security. Mr. President, AI tools are already making a positive difference in countries suffering from conflict and insecurity. Identifying food insecurity and predicting displacement caused by extreme events and climate change. Detecting and clearing landmines. And soon, AI could spot patterns of unrest before violence erupts. But AI has also entered the battlefield in more troubling ways. Recent conflicts have become testing grounds for AI military applications. AI's expansion into security systems raises fundamental concerns about human rights, dignity, and rule of law, from autonomous border surveillance to predictive policing and beyond. I have long warned about unforeseen consequences of AI-enabled systems. Each advance creates new and imaginable vulnerabilities. The AI arms race creates fertile ground for misunderstanding, miscalculation, and mistakes. AI-enabled cyber attacks could cripple a country's critical infrastructure and paralyze essential services. Most critically, AI is eroding the fundamental principle of human control over the use of force. From intelligence-based assessment to target selection, algorithms have reportedly already been used in making life and death decisions. The convergence of AI with other technologies amplifies these risks exponentially. The integration of AI with nuclear weapons in partic is particularly alarming with potentially disastrous consequences. We must avoid it at all costs. And looking ahead, quantum AI systems could breach the strongest defenses and rewrite the rules of digital security overnight. Let's be clear. The fate of humanity must never be left to the black box of an algorithm. Humans must always retain control over decision-making functions guided by international law, including international humanitarian and human rights laws and ethical principles. Humanity's end created AI. Humanity's end must guide it forward. Mr. President, beyond weapon systems, we must also address other risks to peace and security posed by artificial intelligence. AI creates highly realistic content that can spread instantly across online platforms, manipulating public opinion, threatening information integrity, and making trash truth indistinguishable from outright lies. Deep fakes could trigger diplomatic crises, incite unrest, 
and undermine the very foundations of societies. The environmental footprint of AI also poses distinct security risks. The massive energy and water consumption of AI data centers combined with the rush for critical minerals is creating dangerous competition for resources and geopolitical tensions. Mr. President, unprecedented global challenges call for unprecedented global cooperation. In July 2023, I welcomed calls from some member states for the creation of a new United Nations entity to support collective efforts to govern AI and to establish and administer internationally agreed frameworks and mechanisms of monitoring and governance. Since then, a series of initiatives has prompted high-level discussions around international peace and security implications, including the responsible applications of AI in the military domain. Declarations on AI have been issued from many member states, regional groups, and international organizations. The United Nations has pursued efforts to reduce fragmentation of the AI governance and help bring these separate initiatives towards a common framework. The General Assembly has adopted two resolutions on AI, promoting enhanced global cooperation and capacity building. A third resolution, focusing on AI in the military domain has been recommended by the first committee, and first committee and will be considered by the General Assembly in the coming days. Drawing from extensive global consultations, my high-level advisory body on AI has developed in record time a blueprint for addressing both the profound risks and opportunities that AI presents to humanity. Their work laid the foundation for a framework that connects existing in initiatives and ensures that every nation can help shape our digital future. The United Nations Global Digital Compact transforms this shared vision into action. Adapted by leaders at the Summit of the Future, the Compact represents the first universally endorsed framework on AI governance. It commits to establishing an independent international scientific panel on AI and initiating a global dialogue on AI governance within the United Nations, giving every country a seat at the table. And the Compact requests options for innovative financing to build AI capabilities where they are needed most, ensuring developing countries receive our full support. A world of AI haves and have-nots would be a world of perpetual instability. We must never allow AI to stand for advancing inequality. Only by preventing the emergence of fragmented AI spheres can we build a world where technology serves all humanity. Monsieur le Président, Excellence, les prochaines étapes seront cruciales et nos choix présents façonneront notre avenir. Tout retard dans la mise en place de garde fous internationaux accroît les risques pour nous tous. Pour nous tous. J'exhorte les États membres à agir rapidement afin d'établir le groupe scientifique international sur l'intelligence artificielle et d'engager le dialogue mondial sur la gouvernance de l'intelligence artificielle au sein de l'Organisation des Nations Unies. Je réitère également mon appel à interdire les armes autonomes létales. Nous devons établir de nouvelles interdictions et restrictions sur les systèmes d'armes autonomes d'ici à 2026. Aucun pays ne doit concevoir, développer, déployer ou utiliser des applications militaires de l'intelligence artificielle dans les conflits armés qui violent le droit international, le droit humanitaire et les droits humains. Cela inclut le recours à l'intelligence artificielle pour sélectionner ou engager des cibles de manière autonome. Les membres de ce Conseil doivent montrer l'exemple et veiller à ce que la compétition autour des technologies émergentes ne déstabilise pas la paix et la sécurité internationale. Je vous invite tous à unir vos forces pour bâtir l'avenir de l'intelligence artificielle, un avenir sûr, sécurisé et inclusif, et je vous remercie.
Je remercie le secrétaire général, le secrétaire général.